So my friends, this is the brand new Echo Pop from Amazon. Now this is designed likely to replace the Echo Dot eventually, but is it any good? Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So in this video, we'll also give you a demonstration of the differences in sound between the Echo Dot 5th generation and the new Echo Pop. In the box, you get the Echo Pop, the how-to guide and the setup, and also your power adapter. With the Echo Pop, there's just three buttons on top. There's the volume controls and also the mute button. There is no action button this year, and there are three microphone sensors. Now, those differences I don't think are a great deal. The differences in design are more dramatic, and I guess it depends on which one you prefer. There's no auxiliary port on this one, the same as the 5th generation, and it's just simply the power adapter point at the back. When it comes to the design, I guess this is down to individual preference. For me, I do prefer the Echo Pop. I like the way it sits better on a side or on a stand. The other main difference is the LED indicator light has moved to the top and it's reduced in size, which I actually prefer. I found the other one could get very bright, especially if the room was dark. Your echo is ready. This is how the new pop sounds. I'm guessing that these have both got the same processor inside because the startup time was identical and also the response time to any voice command was literally within a microsecond of each other and it fluctuated between the two. So the Echo Pop does have a slightly larger speaker and I think they do get a little bit more bass from it, but believe me, it's minimal. I don't think if these were in individual rooms playing the same music, I don't think you'd be able to walk into each room and tell that there's that much difference. But what are the other differences? Well, the Echo Dot 5th generation, as we mentioned, has got a smaller speaker. They've both got dual band Wi-Fi and they have support for Amazon Sidewalk, which is a system where you can connect and still operate even if you haven't got Wi-Fi. Now, Eero is built into both of these, but you do need a compatible router, so you do need an Eero router in order for that to work. As these are both two new speakers, they do both support Matter, which is great. The Echo Dot 5th generation has a temperature sensor and a motion detector. Now this can be used if you're using routines, for instance, for motion, you can turn a light on when it detects motion. So that's something to bear in mind. But if you're not gonna be using those things, then maybe it's worth saving the little bit of cash and going for the Echo Pop. So there isn't really that much difference between the two, and I don't think they're designed to be that much different. I think this will end up taking over from the Echo Dot, but what's your thoughts on this device? Now, although weight is not really an issue, it may be an indicator to build quality. The weight of the Echo Dot 5th generation is 36.6 grams, and on the Echo Pop, it's as low as 21.1 grams. So for me, in terms of sound quality, there are no real differences, certainly not that you can detect. If it's down to the actual individual devices in terms of style, I do prefer the Echo Pop, and you can, can get some accessories with that as well. But in terms of motion sensor and temperature control, well, that that's not present, so you may want to bear that in mind. Anyway guys, that's the new Echo Pop. Let me know your thoughts, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.